Hey, everybody. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. We lost. I know what's happened. Aha! Yeah, nobody heard any of that. Because <laughs> the power cord got pulled on the mic. <laughs> oh, what the heck? People are saying, you're mooted. There we go. Now can you hear me? Hey, hey. Give me an emote if you can hear me. They can hear you. They can hear the music and mic. Yep. How's that? Is it better? A delay. This okay. darn mixer has a crappy power so cord. So we've got a, like a... Start over. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to say this again. Yay, okay, they can hear me. Hi! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> this is Shoshi from Shoshi's Magnificent Miniatures. And this is lovely technician Mike. <laughs> lovely husband Mike. So, <laughs> he's my tech guy. I don't know what I would do without him. I was, <laughs> Be muted, apparently. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> So, <laughs> okay, so this is my Lion Knight. I was pointing out that we had worked on the back last time, this beautiful red cloak. You're off center to the right there a little bit. There you go. Okay, I worked, and then we worked on his pantalones. Okay, hello, Ebion and Jabberwock and Painting Cricks and Lotus Cobra. A lot of people here today. I really, really am happy that you guys came to my stream and Charles Fox, and Echo, and D-Day. And I wanted to tell um, everybody that Echo recently started streaming. So check him out. And D-Day is also a really cool um, streamer from Australia. So, okay, yes, the bone claws. Well, yeah, I started those. I didn't get those finished. So we'll work on those, and the shoes, and all of this cool, like, weird mask stuff, because that's gonna be fun to show you guys. What I'm going to do when I show you this is pretty much um, how I'm going to paint those and also show you kind of how to paint a face. That's a really good um, good way to do it. All right, I've got my wet palette. Also, before I forget, we are going to do a special announcement toward, after, you know, when I get closer to being done to this. Winner, um, winner, chicken dinner. A special VIG swag bag giveaway that I got at Adepticon. It's super duper huge. And I didn't even get that? a chance to pick out what I wanted. Really there's this. And there's also this game. Look at that. I'll show all of this all over again. We're going to talk about that. Technically, there's going to be like three giveaways, but only... Like, so Twitch people are going to get a special extra ticket. So we're, we're going to go into all of that later. So stay tuned. Um, and you can always catch the VOD if you miss it. All right. So let's see. I'm going to finish these Epion shoes. just donated $10. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, Epion. I really, really appreciate it. It does not improve your chances to win, just well, FYI. But it does make me happy. It does make Shoshi happy. <laughs> it makes me feel... Very nice. Okay, so we've got these shoes down here. I kind of think the idea of gold shoes would look nice, especially with all this beautiful bronze. One um, one thing when I'm painting miniatures is I kind of have rules of threes. So you're gonna have like one, two, three white, right? And then one, two, three gold. And then one, two, three, well the pants count as one. You know, that kind of thing. You're gonna have areas where you're gonna have the color co come back two or three times. Okay, so this is Victorian brass. I'm hoping it's the right shade. 
Oh yeah, that's oh, it's a little bit ready. Let's see. We've got Oro and Oro Man Inano. Inano? Inano. <laughs> Every donation must feel like a new paint pot for Shoshi. I don't really don't need any more paint, but I really appreciate donations because they do help me out quite a bit when it comes to my stream. That kind of thing. All right. Is the close-up being sketchy still? Uh, it seems to be okay right okay, now. Yeah. I'm keeping an eye on it. Happy show. She does increase Mike's chance, though. Charles. <laughs> Yo. Happy wife. Happy life. Yep. <laughs> Cheers to that, mates. <laughs> okay. Let me see. By the way, I went to the eye doctor today. And we talked about getting a new prescription that's going to help me with my mid vision quite a bit more. Okay, and I'm just there's a cat hair. Hang on one second. Lotus Corp would like to know how you like the scale color metallics. You know, the scale color metallics are probably one of my favorite lines of metallics. Those. And the game, game or model color air, they're about the same as far as I'm, um, you know, quality. They're both really, really good. Okay. And Mike, would you do me one quick favor and run grab a paper towel for me because I forgot yes, my. Yes, ma'am. Danka. Okay. Let me see if you guys can see that. I'll even bring you two paper towels. <gasps> two. I like the gold shoes. It makes them seem. So I have this idea that the Lion Knight is um, kind of a, the sultan of his area. I know that there's some lore with him, but he comes with these three, three little girls that are next to. They're very scantily clad, and um, I figured that he's got hair and pants. He's got. Gold shoes. He's a bit of a sultan or something. Or he's cosplaying as one. We did talk about him cosplaying as You're a Out of frame. Name. Oh! Okay. There we go. You need to adjust where the camera is. Feel free to pull it closer to you. Nope, nope, nope. The frame. There you go. Okay. okay. That's good. Now, I want to show you guys something. Let me see if I can find the silver real quick. Actually, what's this? You have a good opportunity. Tekanon 165 would like to see how you uh, thin your paints, but okay. you don't do have to like, that. stop and do it. But. No, we can do that right now. Like, pretty much, I've got my, especially if I have a wet palette, I keep like a bead of water on top. And then I'll have a paper towel ready to dab it. And uh, not that kind of dab, Echo. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna pull that into the water. And so I've got a little bit of everything. See that? It's harder to tell with the metallics. I've got my, yeah, just like that. I like to have that. And that comes from my watercolor my watercolor roots all right oh my gosh this camera's gonna kill me oh no is it being is it being janky again yes keep going okay. you're not gonna see it over there so all right white That's alchemy that. we're gonna use this for a, a little bit of like ting you know how metal does that like a little mm -hmm. spark ting like look at look at how metal there's a little ting right right here ding, ding. you know what i mean Okay. What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. I'm being laughed at. No, you're not. Okay. I need a nice sharp brush. This is a nice new one. It's <laughs> being the jankiest. I'm so sorry, guys. All right. I'll try to hold it still for you. I want to show you. I'm going to put a little... I need to keep my glasses on. <laughs> Alright. Uh, tell you what. 
Let me put the camera on you and I'm gonna restart um, Air Server and see if that fixes the problem. So you can talk for a few minutes about where you've been for the last oh, few days. Okay, That's let's, somebody was asking. let's talk about Adepticon. It is the show that you want to go to if you are a miniature painter or a miniature gamer, especially if you're into gaming at all. <clears throat> it's so we go, I usually go by myself and I go from Wednesday until Monday. And so that's that gives me a day to like travel there and chill. And then the con starts on Thursday and then Sunday it ends. And then I have like the whole day Monday to come home and everything. Adepticon is in Schaumburg, Illinois, which is not that far from Chicago, about 40 minutes from Chicago. Um, they give, um, they have these swag bags, which you can add to your badge. And there is a little cost for these, but it's always worth every penny. This year, I think they only gave away 100 VIG swag, swag bags. So it was first come, first serve. I managed to get one. And just like last year, I am giving it away, the whole thing, except for there's a there's one big giant miniature case that I got from uh, Citadel that is too heavy to ship. It's just too crazy. So that's the only thing I'm not giving away. So let me show you this. This is this came with the swag bag. Can you guys yep. you see that? Yep. yep. It's called Rune Wars. It's a miniature game. It comes with where's the miniatures? Ah. Can you see that? There's like all these cool miniatures. It says two character dioramas, 48 unpainted plastic figures, 16 movement trays, templates, dice, da 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 da. It's, all, it's like an all in one game. Fantasy and flight, right? A fantasy flight. Yep. Yeah. They gave everybody who got a swag bag one of these. They had just piles of them. Um, What's uh, what's cool is like I, like I said I'm giving this whole thing away. We're gonna do this on my Facebook page, Facebook slash Show She's Minis. Um, I'm gonna put up a web form, and Twitch followers are going to have a special little um, part of the form where they can put in their Twitch handle along with all their other. They're just I just need an email address and such. But if you put your Twitch handle on my web form, you get an extra ticket for the drawing. And there's gonna, like I said, there's gonna be three giveaways. And so you could win, could win all three. I mean, it'd be odds are low, but if you have two chances, because maybe you're filling out the Facebook form and then you're also a Twitch follower, that's kind of cool. So that's something special for Twitch followers. So if you're not currently following me, now's a good time and then when it comes time to do the drawing then you'll be able to put your handle in and get some cool stuff get swag okay so that that's one of the things should i show the bag or should we wait we'll tease, uh, we can we'll try. tease. We can try yeah do a little bit here and there yeah we'll just do a few things through the whole stream excited Ooh, the is following somebody's excited <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, where's my mini? Oh, it's almost time for the Lynx cameo. Uh oh, yeah, the cats are on the cats are on the table. Okay, so that white was not working for what I wanted it to do, so I'm trying to find a silver instead. Shredded metal. Oh, speed metal. This might be a little better. Uh, when's the form going up, and uh, when are you going to do the actual drawing? Um, let's do the form. Um, the actual drawing. I should try try to do during the Twitch next Twitch, right? I won't be on for the oh, next one. He won't be on for the next two. For the next two. So I usually do my drawings on Facebook Live. Um, so I will definitely alert anybody. But uh, we will we'll try to get it up this weekend. That's a, that's a doable goal. Sure. Get the web form up this weekend. And this is not missing. So by set by Sunday we'll get that up. And so um, kind of 
keep an eye on my Facebook page. I'll go ahead and put uh, an announcement on my Twitch. Like, you know how they, you can go to my Twitch channel and there's like little updates and stuff. I'll put, put one there too. Okay, that's really not working. So I'm gonna just take, oh, this is a good silver. No, nope, that's speed metal also. Maybe this one will mix better. DJ Gaming wants to know if they have to have Facebook to enter. You don't have to have Facebook. So, but you only get one, you only get to enter if you're, you know, like from, for the Twitch. Actually, no. Should I do, yeah? No, no, no. <laughs> you, you can enter, but uh, I just need your email address and your Twitch handle. And so, I'll put the link up on Twitch too. I know a lot of people on face on Twitch aren't on Facebook. Okay, so this was the this was the one that mixed a lot better. It's the same color as this one, but <sighs> I don't know. It's still kind of thin. Look at this. We'll see. I think I need to shake it one more time. All right, three third times the charm. Oh yeah, that is it. Oh yeah. So we're just gonna put our little things open. See that? Some spots. And this is this is like where the sun is glinting. Extra, there's no sun <laughs> in. <laughs> In Kingdom Death, it's actually a world of darkness, but is that better? There we go. That's better. Ooh. We're just um, here we go. We're just highlighting my gold. There we go. Just in little spots. Mm. All right, get out. All right. It's spring. I actually really like this husband speaking, wife answering combo. <laughs> <laughs> most streams I have see the streamer just read a lot of the questions yeah I think yeah Mike is our little uh, stream <laughs> darling here <laughs> I can't tell you how many people at Adepticon came up to me and they're like I like Mike <laughs> <laughs> we have a good we have a good rapport too so. <laughs> okay I'm ready for the faces now so I need I'm gonna start with an ivory color. I don't wanna use a bright white, cause that's gonna be, here's my white, but I'm gonna wait for that one. I'm not gonna use that until later. I can use like a dirty color. That's kind of cool, sandalwood. Let's see what that does. Actually, there we go, Mojave white. Let's do those two. Sandalwood and the Mojave white. <laughs> no, it's not opened yet. All right, that's good. And okay. And I want to show you what I'm going to do over here. Is I'm going to mix a mid color in the middle. More Mike or Riot. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> okay. I do want to tell you guys that we're hoping to start streaming 
during the daytime so some of the Europeans will be able to catch me. It'll just be me. Mike will be at work, so I will have somebody modding for me. Okay. Mark Goodwin says hello. Hello, Mark. Says hi. All right. Do you see how I'm just... Oh, thank you, Iron Man. I really appreciate that. You guys see that? It's a little thin. That particular paint needs to be mixed with whatever that medium is. Okay, I'm going to start over here. I'm just doing a glaze. Yep. That... Air server, I'm going to kill it. <laughs> What's the matter? Are we having problems again? No. Oh no. All I'm doing here is I'm hitting the tops of my highlights. sure what I think of this. They're they're almost like too peachy, too peachy, so we're gonna go in with this. There we go, that's much better. What's going on? Okay. For those of you who haven't seen my previous streams on this, we're, do we're doing kind of a speed painting with these, so I'm not going ultra high def details, because this is, this is gonna be to get it on the table, because done is better than perfect. Okay, look at this crabby guy over here, man. See how I'm just pulling this across his face, because the direction. It's just kind of hitting the tops. And I'm going to try a little bit more of this white on some of the, I want some of the areas to stand out a little bit more. And okay, now my mic's working again. Okay. I don't know what happened. Just does that sometimes. So, Brow, nose, top of the lip. Oh, my cat is crying. Can you guys hear that? Genuine Vision says, good morning. Hey, Jan. Genuine Vision is another wonderful streamer. Thank you for coming to watch. Jan, you missed it. We're, uh, we're going to do this giant giveaway. It's going to be on my Facebook page, but I'm going to put a web form. Anybody who's a Twitch follower gets an extra ticket. Oh, that's, that'll be cool. It's going to be the entire VJ, v, VIG swag bag. Hey, somebody's asking if there's a way to get the swag bag without going at some point in there. Without going to the... No, there is not. You have to go. I know what you mean. Like, there's a lot of people who are asking me that. Like if they could get the swag bag without going and it's like, mm, unless you've got somebody who else is going who doesn't want it and is willing to buy it for their badge and give it to you, that's probably your best bet. And those v the VIG, there's, they're limited and most of the people who go ahead and shell out, it's, it's $100 to get the VIG swag bag. There's well over $100 worth of stuff in, in that bag, I guarantee you'll You'll be amazed when you see all the stuff. Speaking of which, let's take a little break and show you one of the cool things. All right, just to show you this. Yes, also on the Facebook page, Genuine. Yeah. Valued at $59.99. This is the entire rule set for the primal, for the new hordes. Um, Mark hordes. three. Yeah. Okay, just look. Look, this is just... This amazing, beautiful how to paint and beautiful art. The art in here alone is makes it worth it. 
but there's there's how to paint miniatures back here for 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 hordes look at this look at that isn't that crazy okay so that is one of the things in the bag okay here's another thing this is micro art studio these bases it comes with all the bases you need this is the derelict so it's kind of um, cyberpunky kind of uh, industrial and they snap into these bases and then they're ready to go you can put any miniatures on there you can put space marines on there you can put anything and that is from cool mini or not there's 640 millimeter and 150 millimeter oh and that's what they look painted sweet that's in there these are I think these are like $30 retail so right there that's almost a hundred right there right two things yeah yeah um I play hordes I play circle of Oberos and I really really like it it's kind of how I got my start in miniature painting was playing war machine war machine hordes okay that first pass of the color kind of looks chalky but that's okay because these are supposed to be stone faces so I kind of want them a little chalky and pour that white out I'm gonna do just a little bit Mm -hmm. That was a bright white. I'm just going to do that on a few spots. I'm going to show you. On noses. Eyebrows. See, and you can do this on faces if you just want to be paying a face. You hit that T zone. And you make it look pretty good. Hi, <laughs> Hi Show Show Low, <laughs> Dark Torlin. <Torland>. Hey! <laughs> that is my fellow Star Wars lover, Dark Torlin. <laughs> Thanks for coming and seeing me stream. Adventure. <laughs> Mike's got, got the Star Wars Jedi emotes for you. Oh, do you guys see? I think this. There's a few that have a little teeth. Yeah, it's okay for me to have this, for this to have the chalky, because like I said, I want them to feel like stone. I don't want them to feel like skin. So chalky is okay in this, ca in this case. If I want them to look a little bit more like a real smooth stone, I can I can work on it a little bit more. Loose Machine Maelstrom would like to know which of the Crystal Press entries were your favorites. Wow. The, there was one, I don't know if you saw it, but there was one of uh, like a Wizard of Oz theme that was incredible. And it was just very powerful and emotive. Um, all the ones that made me kind of feel an emotion and that was really powerful it looked like she was embracing the lion and that he was maybe I don't know dead I'm not it was really sad there's another one Matt DiPietro painted and you may not have seen it because it didn't make it online um, I put it on my Facebook page and it's of this woman that is submerged in water and she's sort of like in this canyon and I like that because I actually commissioned him to paint that for me. And so we're, I'm, we're really, really, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It looks, it looks like a piece of fine art is what it, and that's exactly what we wanted. So, um, Matt DiPietro's bust was probably another one of my favorites. It was of a, kind of a sci-fi type guy, but he had a fish over his back. He did a total kind of redo of that particular fish sculpt it used to be like a um like a native alaskan type 
guy and um, he's turned it into su super sci-fi. Okay, these are these skull faces are looking nice. Yeah, Moose Machine Maelstrom. That's a great handle. <laughs> Um, who else did I like? There were so many. Those were probably my favorite. My friend Marcus, actually, he, um, he, he's, uh, Marcus's, DeMarcus's Miniatures, and he's from Austria, and he, uh, roomed with me and some other people, and I took him to Chicago, um, and he actually ended up winning in the chibi category, like a bronze. And so I was super, super proud of him. That was exciting. I feel like there needs to be some kind of color down here. Maybe a little, like a little red. Let's see what we can do. Where's that deep red? I feel like some of this white would be absorbing because white and black both absorb colors from around them. And I feel like they would be absorbing just a little bit of the color from the cape. And we'll just put it in there, see what happens for interest. Yeah, the corn warrior, he was really cool too. All right, so with this, I keep bumping the camera. Fellow Canuck, Dallas Camp. Oh, yeah, James Craig, he was one of the judges. He actually um, gave me some Canadian chocolate. <laughs> okay, I'm just taking, this is basically, I'm not dry brushing per se, but I do have just, I kind of wiped off the excess a little bit. I've got this color, deep red. It's a little darker than my red on my cloak. and I'm just kind of putting it where I feel like there might be some interest down here. And then this is just going to be, it's going to wait for this to dry. I'm going to put this um, Oh, thank you. Anonymous is not following. Oh, thank you. Alright. Did the sculptor on the fish paint the fish or was it somebody else well Matt uh, Matt converted it he basically took the fish um, and he like kind of uh, put it with another bust mini so he completely changed it so, but he I he knows how to sculpt but he wasn't the sculptor I don't think all right so you can see I'm going over that See that face right there? I'm going over that with my off-white. It's killing the red, but it's it's still under there. You know it's there. It's going to come through. It's going to give this a little bit of interest that you, you don't realize is there. Oh, look at this face. I just love finding these, like, look at that super cray, cray. This is like a crybaby face right here. This is probably one of the best bases from Kingdom Death. I'm doing... <coughs> Shall we show a few? A few more things from the bag. Let me know, guys, if you think you'd like to see a few more things. Or I'll keep painting otherwise. Yeah, I really, I'm not, I'm not, Disliking this 
a little bit of red in here at all. I think it looks good so far. Ooh. Jabberwock13 just donated. Oh, I gotta... Thank you, Jabberwock. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your support. I hope you guys are learning good things from this stream. And you know, like, if you ever would like to ask questions on my Facebook page, or, you know, you can even shoot me a message through Twitch if you, you know. Got questions about things I'm doing. All right. Like I need to go in and paint some more teeth. Oh good, I'm so glad that skin helped. One of the cats is with the daughter in her room and the other cats are being well behaved. Yeah. I really like the teeth, look at that. even though that red it's not exactly totally covered up there's some you know in, in some spots but it just gave it sort of like a almost like a cast shadow type quality Base is starting to look. I want to pick out some of them to really accentuate. Machine Maelstrom just donated five dollars too. Oh my gosh, thank you, Moose Machine. I really appreciate that. Your support really is very I mean I'd never expect it, so it's always nice. That is helpful as I'm trying to figure out a better solution to our camera challenges today. <laughs> yeah. Those aren't cheap. Maybe getting D Day out. wants you to do an alternate base and paint every one of those faces on the base in rainbow patterns. Oh, unfortunately, this guy, I mean, his base, it only comes with him. So, I can't do that. Not for this one, anyway. And Moose Machine Maelstrom said, his pleasure loves the stream. Aw, oh, thank you. Okay, I feel like something's missing. I still want to... So the thing about these is supposed to be kind of horrific, right? So let me try. I'm just curious because I don't know how it's going to be. 
What if these stone faces are like alive inside? So I'm gonna see what happens when I paint some of the tongues. And I just mixed a little bit of that deep red with a little bit of that ivory mix that I had from before. Yeah, that's kind of cool, kind of creepy. I mean, this is this is all really rough looking, so I want to go in and and help smooth things out a little bit. I'm gonna get these tongues in here first. I feel that does add to the creepy factor. And he's kind of like st stepping on all these stone faces. It also helps kind of tie that red back in talked about our three things. Okay. Let's see. We need... I'm going to try I think what I'll do, I actually have some, that, some black on my palette, so I'll make a gray, and this will hopefully smooth out some of the roughness. on the sides I think. yeah that is exactly what it needed Pink. I got my paint mixed in. So, um, some of the things that are on my commission table this month, I'm going to be painting um, a necromancer from Kingdom Death. I'm um, almost done with her, actually. I'm also going to be painting a thief from Kingdom Death. I've got her all built and primed, and I'm going to be painting um, Araman from Warhammer. The um, client has given me a lot of freedom, and I figured out that pretty much as long as you, um, you're not in frame. Ooh, as long as you leave his robes blue, you can't really do too much as long as you go kind of sparkly and br with the bright pinks and purples. Okay. You guys see how the base in this one is pretty important for popping those skulls out. Or those, um, not the skulls, the faces. Oh, and I'm also going to be painting um, the the five disciples and the flower witch from Kingdom Death. 
So I'm, pr I'm pretty excited because it's going to be a good Kingdom Death month for me for commissions. Um... Okay. <laughs> yeah, it does remind me of Pink Floyd. Another <laughs> face in the floor. And Echo is eating Samoa cookies. Well, he's got the, he ate the last of them. And a little bit of gray. I've got gray on my palette here. We're just um, smoothing the transitions between the black and the white because it felt a little bit rough. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited about the um, the witches and the um, sorry, the yeah, the disciples because. There's lots of skin, and skin is kind of one of my things I really like to paint the most. Some people like um, really like automotive type of things. I like organic. I'm looking for my gray and my black, rather. Oh, here we go. Flat black. <laughs> and I get a bigger brush for this part. Ooh, that's not big. This one is. That's nice. Yeah, he's jamming. He's always jamming. <laughs> if we had music with lyrics, he would probably be singing. Mute yourself before you wreck yourself. there's something is still not there let's see let's try let's try white sands it's got a little warmer tone than the ivory and it's a step up yeah it's like somewhere in between the uh, Mojave white and the white white it's like right in the middle something I don't know if I have it here um, I bought a ton of water mixable oil paints let me see if I, I think they're in the, my drawer hang on one second oils are basically oil paints that you can thin down with water um, they work really great with acrylics uh, you want to do them after you do the acrylics but I really do like oh that's cool there we go that's that's getting what I want okay does anybody have any pictures of anything they want to show that they've been working on? Definitely would like to see if you want to send a link to Mike. 
Jabberwock suggests a split or a slight sepia wash for warmth. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. We might try that after this dries a little bit. Do I have a. Yeah, I do have something. I have a, a brown I can rinse it, rin, or water down a little bit. We'll make, we'll make it. I'm actually. This is starting to look how I want it to look, so I might not need that after all. The idea is that he, he's standing on a whole bunch of stone white faces. take a long time to dry? Not the water mixable. They might take a little bit longer than your acrylics, but probably a day or so. Now the nice thing about that is that you want to um, you want to have several minis going at once so you can rotate stuff or just be working on different parts of the mini. Like I did put a little bit of water mixable oil on the back of his cloak. It's been a week and it's totally dry now. Um, and you can see how flat it dries too. That's the other kind of cool thing. They still can dry pretty flat. The oil. It shows you brought back some con crud from Adepticon. She finally is almost yeah. over it. I still have just a tiny bit of a horse throw, but I'm much better. Actually, the first time I feel like I've gotten sick from a con, because usually I try to get enough sleep. Okay, that's almost done. So she's fading out. Southern Ontario open coming in a month or so. So yeah, start dosing up on your. Um, on your like emergency and your different stuff. Okay, so apologize if these aren't 100% kosher for work. But basically, these are his harem girls. I'm trying to figure out how they would sit. There we go. And then we'll have her kind of at his leg, sort of like. Yeah. So they all have masks on, like kind of this cool kabuki mask that I painted on them. And uh, this is for uh, for Echo Swiggity Swooty. <laughs> all right. So let's see. I'm gonna glue those on. One of the things um, I bought, I was in a, a Games Plus. In Sham, it's in Mount Prospect. It's not too far from the convention, and they just had tons of these different super glue tops, and I bought them because it's going to save me so much money because I won't need to buy another super glue because I'll have a top. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Do we want Kingdom Death spoilers in the chat? <laughs> it's up. I mean, it's up to you. It's like I don't care about spoilers. You can't spoil me on anything. Yeah. Mike's the one that might want not want spoilers. No, that's fine. We have how many expansions, and we played none of them. We so now have everything but the Lion God, and that one's coming with the um, Kickstarter rewards because you had to have that one to have play Silver City. Need to actually finish playing our campaign that we've got started. We haven't played yeah. it in probably a couple months. 
definitely. Hey, we should do a Friday night Kingdom Death stream. She doesn't want to stay on these little masks. I might, uh, have to, I might have to pin these on at another point because they're not sticking. There we go. That's better. Poor kitty's crying. That's a little crammed. We'll put her back here. She's not paying attention. <laughs> She's reading. Part of it is that you're mumbling. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I will stop mumbling. Is that better? All right. There we have Lion Knight and his harem girls. I'm going to set that over here. There we go. It looks pretty cool. It's, it looks... The faces look even better now that we've got the reds coming down here and then the whites. It all kind of ties together. The only other thing I might go back and do is maybe like do a little turquoise here and there on the girls so that kind of ties it yep. into him again. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. Fine. I want to show you guys a few more things in the bag. These were the two Malifaux things. There's a mystery box. It's never been opened. You could probably go online and figure out what that is because somebody else probably already posted it. And then these Will-o'-the-Wisps. So you can see those are pretty cool. That comes in the swag bag. This is... This is a cool sprue. No reward is worth this. <laughs> Warlord Games Limited, a bunch of like army type guys. Here's a Reaper Bones model. Here's a Bushido model. You guys see that? Pretty cool. And Goblin? Yeah. Rinsho Bakamono. This is a Guild Ball Mini. His name is Tower. So many minis. You're not talking to the mic when you're back. This is here. really cool. I know that Charles was super interested in this. This is the AVP Adepticon special. I think you could only get it either at Adepticon or in the swag bag. I can't remember. But it is this alien figure. Here's what it looks like. Unpainted. It's it's pretty swag. It's pretty cool. Here's a cool uh, werewolf mini. I think this is one of the con minis. I'm not for sure. Oh, here's a uh, ninja division figure. She's pretty cute. Little witch girl. Here's a... <laughs> this is cool. This is by Knuckle Duster Miniatures. And it's a... Like a... I don't know if he's steampunk, but he's a cowboy orc. <laughs> <laughs> this is an alien figure. You could definitely use that in a Star Wars campaign. This is by Bombshell Miniatures. This is sculpted by Patrick Keith. He's a little sidekick mini. It shows she doesn't like horror movies and definitely not alien movies, and so she's not going to go see it with me. I'm no, kind of disappointed. No, I just, no. I almost feel like we should figure out a way to get the stream to make you go. No, <laughs> no. I don't like those movies at all. I don't have fun at them. This is super cool. If you ever get a chance, go to Happy Seppuku. HappySeppuku.com. They make these little... Um... I don't know what to call them, mold things. And you basically, you take you take your base or whatever, you put your green stuff down and then you press it and then boom, you've got your base. And you can use like all different edges of this. This one is the clockwork. So it's specifically steampunky. Um, 
I have the like like rotten floorboard. It's like rotten floorboard or deck. It's pretty cool. Here's some. Here's three fifty. Oh, there's a code. There's three fifty millimeter kind of uh, sci-fi type bases. It's a Guild Ball Chibi Pin, Season 3, and I don't remember who that is. Somebody told me, but that is Coin, so that must be one of the Union figures. There's a really cool book by C.L. L. Werner from uh, Wild West Exodus. There's a really cool Adepticon coaster. <coughs> Sorry. Coughing. Took too big of a drink of scotch. This is another knuckle. I don't really like this one that much. Look, she's got boob, boob guns. Boob guns. I guess. If I you're gonna, bot from yeah. Austin Powers. California Kate and the black Brazier of Doom. <laughs> Brazier of Doom. <laughs> I think you had one of those, didn't you? No. <laughs> 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 when you're leaned over and you're not talking to the mic, Sorry, they can't there's hear some you. other things in here. Nothing Oh, here's one more thing. By, by Victoria Miniatures. There, uh, Victoria Lamb is an Australian sculptor. And you should check her out. She's got these really cool figures. Ooh. All right. All that's going to be given away to some lucky person, and if you are a Twitch follower of Shoshi's Minis, you get an extra um, ticket. So when you go to fill out the web form, we're going to that up by Sunday. I will announce it on my Facebook page, and I will announce it on my Twitch uh, channel. It'll be like in the little announcements on my Twitch channel, so keep an eye on those. And Mike is adjusting my volume or something again. <laughs> now we're getting some weird thing. Yeah. All right, is that better? I don't know. Keep you talking, and I'll tell you. Nice catch, adjusting. Oh, she's a fanbot, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Robo Shoshi. I'm sorry, Bliggy. Um, yeah. So go ahead and um, if you're following me on Facebook, keep an eye out for that. If you are following me on on Twitch, I think it will send you a little announcement when I do my updates. Do we have time to see anything else? Um, with all the glitches we're having, I'm yeah, ready to kill the we technology. We should probably end here. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is we're going to look for another streamer. I don't know if D-Day is streaming right now. See if he's streaming. Uh, well, he's in chat. So oh, he's in not. chat? Aw, uh, <laughs> go stream. No, just see, see who else is streaming, and then we're going to hand them off. Darth Tor. Let's see. Right now. Who am I following? That it's, It'll say that they're... I don't know. You have to tell me. Okay, let me look. You're on Twitch. Do. All right. Daemonicon. Oh, no, wait. Let's do Small Cave Studio. I'll go ahead and... We're going to host him. What? Let's try that. Small Cave is a very cool, cool guy. Let's see if that works. Did that work, Mike? What work? I think it worked. Small Cave, host Small Cave Studio. You haven't hosted. I'm trying, hold on. Okay. Thanks, guys. <laughs>